Welcome back everyone, it's Evan Who's 57 here. I'm back on Neverwinter on the Xbox One, and today I will be bringing you the Wonders of Gond event guide. So basically I'll cover everything that you need to know about this event, and if you ever wanted a mechanical lobster, doohickey, gizmo, or thingamabob, well, this is the event for you. So, in short, here on console we have the Wonders of Gond event. This is like the fourth or fifth time that we've had the event and I did do a, a video when it was first released covering how to farm it but a couple little things have changed so I was asked to make a updated video for basically mod 11 mod 12. As you can see uh, this is basically the event it lists all the different items that you can get and the main things that people want are one of three items either the doohickey, because everybody wants one of those, the apparatus agond, or the embellished apparatus agond. Those are both mounts. And then, of course, you could also get the Creations of Wonder pack, which the item that everybody wants from that is the Forge Hammer of Gond. And it does drop at Epic. It's a pretty nice thing. So, there's a few different things that you're going to need to know. First of all, this event is kind of outdated. These mounts, while cool looking, that's the embellished apparatus of Gond, and this is the regular apparatus of Gond, are not very expensive. During the event, there may be 300,000 diamonds, at best. Depending on platform, of course. And that's because, well, you can get them during the Winter Festival. That's how I got mine. So they're kind of less valuable. Doesn't change the fact that people still like them. Now, in any case, the most valuable items are the doohickey, and the Creations of Wonder pack. The reason why the Creations of Wonder pack is so expensive is because, as you can see there, it says in one of the following. Forge Hammer of Gond Artifact, Blacksmith Companion, Profession Special Pack, Coalescent Ward, or five Preservation Wards. So these Creations of Wonder packs can go for a pretty penny after the event, due to the fact that people want that Forge Hammer, which is worth millions of diamonds. It is a very low drop chance, however. The rest of the stuff is marginal. Um, the mechanical altars are kind of fun to play with. The toy apparatus of Gond is meh, nothing uh, really that great. And of course, you know, blacksmith crafting gear. Well, let's be honest, not everybody wants to deal with blacksmith crafting gear. So, without further ado, let's cover what you do in this event. Uh, now, I did have somebody that said hi to me. Sorry, I couldn't get to him because I'm recording. Anyways, what you're going to be looking for is you're going to be looking for, basically, a doohickey. Now, you can buy a doohickey off of the Tarmaloon Trade House. Currently on Xbox, they're 225,000 diamonds and dropping. Depending on the platform you're on, they may be more or less. You need this item in order to do one of three things with it. Sell it, equip it, and it goes to your potion tray so you can use it to deal some extra damage every so often. Or you can trade it in for that creations pack. Now in order to make this, you make it exactly the same way that you make an enchantment. So you're going to run around and kill enemies. And from those enemies, as long as they're within plus or minus seven levels of your level you're going to get Wondrous Grommets. Now, you can refine those Grommets simply by clicking on it. And, of course, you need a reagent. But you can refine the Grommets to make a Wondrous Cog. This item. You can refine the Cogs to make a Sprocket. You can refine the Sprockets to make a Gadget. You can refine the Gadgets to make a Gizmo. And you can refine the Gizmos to make a Thingamabob. So once you finally get a Thingamabob, it requires a second thingamabob to go ahead and make a doohickey. I know what you're thinking at this point. Oh my god, that's just annoying. Yes. Yes, fine people of Neverwinter. It is very annoying. And I'm just going to show you how much the refinement items are worth. Grommets are only worth five refinement. Of course, this is not during a double refinement event. I haven't actually tested it to see if it would work during a double refinement event. Hopefully it would, um, but I haven't tested that personally myself because it just really wasn't worth the time. 
So grommets worth five, uh, sprockets fifteen. You know they keep going up like that. Well, cog is worth ten, and you know sprockets worth more. So basically, you want to take your highest level thing and refine it up if you so choose to build a doohickey. Now let's go over how you get these actual items before we get too complicated in upgrading and all of that fun shenanigans. As I covered before, you can get the wondrous grommets by killing enemies that are plus or minus seven levels of your level. So technically you can get these enemies and get the grommets almost anywhere in the world, whether you're leveling up a new character or doing an epic dungeon or simply doing your Sharndar dailies. When I do my Sharndar and Dreadring dailies, I average at least 20 of these grommets, not even trying to collect them. For those of you that are trying to collect them, though, you can actually do your professions. Every profession, or just about every profession outside of leadership and the specialty ones, is going to have a level 6 special. And it's always up there, takes two hours, it's called the Sprocket Special. Depending upon the profession, it will take various assorted items. Usually it's like iron ore and pine wood, simple pelts. Uh, the easiest one is iron down for mail smithing. That's iron ore, charcoal, fundamental fire, fundamental lightning. You can also do pretty much, like I said, every special. Plate smithing has it. Um, but these items are rather expensive to make. As you can see, I'm doing the task gather wood and... Uh, iron ore so that gives me two iron ore two pine wood you can also do the longer profession that takes hours while you're offline and then you can use them for the sprocket special now depending upon what you get and just how lucky you are whether you get the rank one rank two or rank three result you may get just a few grommets or you might get grommets and cogs or sprockets and gadgets and a whole bunch of stuff so you can get really lucky and get a bunch of items or you could get very unlucky and pretty much get nada so as you can see i don't have enough for the sprocket special to do that one i don't have enough pine wood and you might say well i could buy pine wood but it's really not worth it to buy pine wood so i'll go to mail smithing and just quickly show you the results a tier one is just a sprocket tier two is the gadget the sprocket and five grommets so you want to make sure you get at least tier two but what you're shooting for is tier three because you get the sprocket the gadget the five grommets and two cogs so you get the most for your resources Fundamental fire is relatively cheap, but fundamental lightning is not. So depending upon your platform, you will have to make a personal decision as to what you would like. So the highest that you can get is a 60% chance for tier 3 with all mithril tools, unless you have an epic, um, well, higher than epic technically. You would need a legendary or mythic like I have, Forge Hammer or Gond, then you can boost that to a 75% chance. So I will go ahead and start that task. And as you see, I don't have enough charcoal. Now it does require 50 charcoal per time that you do this. The good thing about that is charcoal is relatively cheap, guys. Charcoal can be bought uh, pretty easily. You can buy 100 of it for 30 silver. So charcoal is not something that is difficult to obtain. Unfortunately, like you see there, I don't have another epic hammer, so that's not really going to help me out that much. I am actually going to go down to the plate smithing one, which is just iron ore, and unfortunately it does take the same thing, so that's actually not cost effective for me to do. I will only be doing one of those sprocket specials due to the fact that it's just simply not cost effective unless you can guarantee yourself at least the tier 2 reward and without being able to guarantee yourself the tier 2 reward it's uh, not exactly the best thing to do you really want tier 3 
So entirely personal preference what you want to do, whether you want to do that or not. There is one other way that you can earn refinement for this item, and that is actually through the Zen market. There is an item that comes out for the event specifically, and it's under the event currency called a Wonders Blueprint. And that is worth 4,000 refinement points for Wonders of Gond items only. Now the bad thing about this is it costs 110 Zen. So depending upon your platform, 110 Zen is probably going to set you back around 40... Yeah, about 40,000 diamonds, roughly. Um, almost exactly 40,000 current pricing on the Xbox One. So if you want to invest 40,000 diamonds in it, sure, go for it. Again, remember, the doohickey that you get will be unbound, but the doohickey only sells at maximum for around 300k. So it's not a super fantastic deal for all the refining and leveling and everything that you have to go through. Once you've done that, though, I know people are asking, well, FN, you said that you need to farm the events. There's always something worth farming. That's true. And that is actually very simple for this event. And this is very surprising. What you want to do is simply go ahead and keep crafting like uh, your basic tasks that reward you with iron ore, pine wood, simple pelts. Things like that. Go ahead and keep doing that because they actually sell for a surprising amount of money during the Wonders of Gond event. It doesn't make sense because, like I said, this event is really it's outdated. Um, because of the Winter Festival, it just killed the pricing on everything for the event. But let's take a quick look at how much a stack of, say, pine wood is going for because people like to actually go and make these items so pine wood it's under professions common and you will want to set it to buy out the cheapest stack of pine wood is 65,000 diamonds undercut from of course 142,000 so the undercutters are definitely real but that's 65,000 diamonds for a stack of pine wood uh, that's crazy. Now, if you go to check iron ore, which is something that you get at the same time, ignore the high quality iron ore and go straight for the regular iron ore, which is about 20 to 25,000 diamonds. So you can make diamonds off of that if you want to just crank them out real quick. And then you can also sell the wondrous grommets and all of that. Now, typically, the Wondrous Grommets might sell for about 40k per stack of 99. And then you can sell the Sprockets. You can sell, you know, well, sorry, those are the Sprockets. They sell for a little bit more. But basically, you can go through and you can sell everything. And that's actually worth it to do. As you can see, they're not worth... A whole lot until you get to the thingamabobs. The thingamabobs are worth a decent chunk of change, but that's because that's the next step before the doohickey. So, complete personal preference what you want to do. I like to farm this as I'm farming everything else. If I get to build a doohickey, then so be it. It has taken me multiple Wonders of Gond events to actually be able to build a doohickey due to the fact that, as you can see, you need a massive amount of refinement. Like for this gizmo, I need a total of 3,200 refinement points. Uh, to upgrade a gadget to a gizmo, you need 810 refinement points, which is crazy because 76 grommets only give you like 380 refinement. Even if I add the sprockets that I make, or uh, the cogs and the sprockets, it would take the cogs, the sprockets, and the grommets, and everything that I have here to make and fully refine a gadget just so oh, that uh, I have a gizmo. Sorry. Fully refine a gadget just so that I have a gizmo. Um, it's just, I'm laughing at it. I'm laughing to myself at how much 
it takes for this event, but it's just not worth it for a reward. The only thing that is worth it is this Creations of Wonder pack. So you can go ahead and trade in your doohickey. Doesn't matter whether it's a bound character one from the Winterfest or not, which uh, it actually took my one that I had in my bank, which is weird. Um, but yeah, that happened. And now you see I have a Creations of Wonder pack, which I could open, and you have a high chance to gain the mount, but there's a possibility that you might gain some really junk refinement items and a wondrous gizmo. Whoopee, a gizmo. Fantastic. Set back to 25,000 diamonds. But you have the chance at getting that forge hammer. And the pack right now is selling for about 250k diamonds. But prior to this event releasing, that pack was actually selling for 700,000 diamonds. Entirely personal preference what you guys want to do and how you want to farm the event. If you wish to farm for... Uh, those grommets, I would not personally recommend going out of your way to farm grommets. But if that is your so chosen thing to do, going to one of the elemental zones, Drown Shore, Reclamation Rock, Spinward Rise, or the Fiery Pit, is pretty much one of the best places to go because it actually lowers your character level to the maximum zone level. So you're within the plus or minus seven levels but you can just go around and basically one-shot the enemies. Personally, for me, though, because there isn't that huge profit in there, what I like to do is to simply farm by doing one or two professions, um, making the sprocket special, and then maybe like three professions, actually making the pine and iron ore, and then towards the end of the event, I'll sell all the pine and iron ore, and I'll sell all of the stuff for um, the actual, you know, thingamabobs and gizmos and all that. I'll just sell it all, and I make more money off of that than actually trying to build up the doohickeys. Sometimes I do try and build them, but this is what I have farmed, basically, over the course of two almost three of these Wonders of Gond events, that is basically all I've been able to build up is a fully refined thingamabob, a partially refined gizmo, and then I got the doohickey from the Winterfest. Now there is also one last thing I should mention, and that is the fact that there is a cooldown. It seems like you cannot get a grommet any more frequently than once per 30 to 45 seconds. I am not 100% sure if this is an official cooldown or not. So you going to an even lower zone just to massacre things faster. Like basically if you wanted to group up all the enemies in a zone and try and attack them all at once. That would not increase your chances of actually getting a grommet. That's why I don't go out of my way to farm it. And I simply go through and do dungeons. I do my Sharndar dailies. And all of that stuff. The last thing that I should mention is the fact that the new zone for Cloak Descendancy, which is the River District zone, does not seem to drop grommets. Not frequently. Um, I've spent quite a bit of time in that zone doing my dailies, and I've only ever gotten like one, maybe two grommets in 15 or 20 minutes of being in the zone. So just keep that in mind when you're farming. Some zones are better than others. And if you are going to farm, make sure that you have your Dragon Horde enchantments, Wanderer's Fortune, Mount Bonus, uh, Fey Blessing enchantments, or Quartermaster enchantments, anything like that. Make sure that you have those equipped so that while you're farming for the little Wondrous Grommets, you can also farm Refinement at the same time. And then it does make the process a little bit more efficient. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, whatever, please feel free to leave a comment. If I did not do this the way that 
you would prefer to have it done, just be nice about it. I don't mind discussions, but uh, I hate salty trolls. So the one thing that I didn't cover and I'm going to cover just because as you upgrade these items, the upgrade chance will go down to the point of when you're trying to make a doohickey, it'll be only a 75% upgrade chance. So personally, I like to use a preservation ward. Some people don't want to waste or chance their wards, but this refinement process is so annoying and time consuming that for me, I would rather chance the ward than have to go and buy or make another one of the refinement items. Hopefully this video helps you out and answers all the questions that you have about the Wonders of Gond event, what to do, where to go, and how to farm it. I wish you the best of luck in making diamonds. If you enjoyed the video, remember to share it, like it, you know, that type of thing. And of course, smash the subscribe button for more content. Until next time, stay frosty.